Welcome everyone. In this video, we shall have a demo on how to fill in the details in your quick start and masters. Once you log in into our software, click on the GST option and click on quick start. First the company setup, you need to mention the organization name, the PAN number, address, city, PIN code, state and country and the email ID. You have to enter the contact person name and you can upload the company logo which shall be visible in your invoice. Next, list of GSTIN. Since GST is state specific, the company has to enter the GSTIN number that it has obtained for each of the state in which it is operating. First, the tax type shall be India GST by default, GSTIN number pertaining to that particular state, date of registration shall be the date on which GSTI number has been obtained, taxpayer type, a normal taxpayer, composition taxpayer, non-resident taxpayer, input service distributor and e-commerce operator. Trade name, if the company wants to trade in a different name, that can be entered here. Then address, city, state, PIN code, you can use the option of copy business address if required, the tax registration country, tax registration name, gross turnover of the previous financial year that is from April 2016 to March 2017 and aggregate turnover for the period of April 2017 to June 2017. GSTIN username is the name that has been used in the GST portal and for uploading your returns. Similarly, you can add all the records in which you have obtained the GSTI number. The item master, all your products and services that you are dealing in has to be entered here. The item group can be products or services. For an IT company, it can be hardware or software. Using this plus option, you can add a item group. Item code, that is the product code that you give for it. And the item name, name of your product or services. And item nature can be capital goods that is capex goods, inventory, opex goods and finally services. Unit of measurement has to be mentioned if the item nature is inventory like bags, bottles, cartons, etc. By default, we provide it as a purchase item and sale item. If it is a sale item, you need to mention the default sale rate. Since item nature is inventory, HSN code is required to be mentioned. As a unique feature, you can search the code you can select the code which gets copied in that required field. In case the item nature is services, then you have to enter the SAC code. Click on OK and gets copied. And next is the tax rate, which shall be 0 0.25, 0.25, 3%, 5%, 12%, 18%, and 28%. So all the products and services can be added in this similar manner. Once all the mandatory fields have been filled, a congratulation message shall be populated stating the basic steps have been completed. Now we'll move on to masters. Customers to whom we sell our products and services. 
here you need to mention the customer code, customer name, GSTI number of the customer if the customer is registered. You can click on the search taxpayer to go to the GST portal and verify the GSTI number, the PAN number, the contact person name, address, city, state, email ID and the website. All the customers can be added the similar procedure. Next is your vendor master from whom we purchase our products and services. That is the vendor code, vendor name, GSTIN number of the vendor and search taxpayer to verify the GSTIN number of the vendor, taxpayer type, a normal taxpayer, a composition taxpayer or e-commerce operator. Then you have to mention the basic details such as contact, person name, address, city, state, email ID and website. Bank master for receiving all the receipts and for making the payment we need a bank account which can be created here. We need to mention the bank code, bank name, branch name, account number, IFSC code, GSTN, PAN number, contact person name, address, email ID and website. GSTIN shall be reflected based on the information filled in quick start. Location, if you have many location within the same state then you can use this option. You have to enter the location name, country and the state to which it belongs to and click on the add button if you have to map it to the GSTIN number for which state it belongs to. Item group, for creating any particular group you can use this option. Item and services, based on the information filled in quick start the information gets populated. Shipping port, if the company is dealing in import and export business you can use the shipping port and fill in the details of the port. That is the port name and port code. Other charges ledger at the time of sale. If any other charges are being incurred, then you can mention it in here. The code, the name of the other charge that you are incurring and is GST applicable has to be ticked and you have to select the type of item on which it is being labeled whether it is on capital goods, OPEX goods, inventory or services. In the next video we can see how to do importing of the transactions. Thank you.